Hubbard on there. Okay, yeah, it does that here. Uh, so April, sorry, we cut out there. This is going to be a series of five, or well, maybe not five. Hopefully, we don't take that too long, that long on us. Um, what we've also talked about is, you know, as we look at these standards, how are we going to measure those? Um, we talked about this being pretty quantitative or objective, but we're going to have some pieces in here that are pretty subjective too. Um, and then constantly ask yourself, how will the learners show that they have met those standards? Uh, you may have put that in down at the bottom. We haven't got there. We also talked about this section being something that's more of a frame of mind type of, of objective by the Department of Education, trying to get students to think critically, uh, understand listening skills, and develop some listening strategies. So, All right, so now we got, we're into the lesson. The day before the project is to start, assign students to find one thing they know about Mars, have students report what they know or think they know before introducing the project. Any thoughts on that? I want something more interesting, but I'm not sure what to get them more about Mars. I mean, you could just say, like, you know, you could just say Mars is red and then be done. So I'd like to, <laughs> I would like it to, I don't know, to get them a little bit more. But I don't, I'm having trouble thinking of what will get them thinking about Mars more. I had a lot of trouble with this when I was thinking about my lesson plan. Trying to get, you know, how do you get their attention or whatever. So I, 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 I don't want to be critical about it. It seems like her, her book is just beginning the project, basically. It's starting to find something you know, and then we're going to report on it, and then that's basically what the project is itself as well. But I had a real hard time with that, too, so that, Maybe more like, that's what is tough for me. your favorite thing about Mars? Yeah. Or, um, your favorite thing about any, any planet or something, you know what I mean? Something like that. that <clears throat> thing, everything about space. Who knows what. What's your favorite movie about Mars? Yeah. Good. What's your favorite something about Mars that's related to media? Media related. Good. And April, when you listen to this, we'll do this to everybody's eventually. So, yeah, <laughs> this is this is the thing that has stopped a lot of educational reform too. Is people get locked in their own classroom. And one, they don't want to share what they have. It's like a contest between you and the person beside you, which I don't know why that ever started. When I first started teaching, I was the same way. I had all this good stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I want to be the best. You know? But I, if they'd ask me, I'd share. But did I ever go out and say, hey, you might want to try this? No. You know, so being able to have people share their suggestions and make your stuff better is very difficult. You know? So hopefully as she listens to this, she understands it. Um, so I think this is getting better. I, I would guess on her side. Uh, I'd have the question is how this is it's always about not always about the what. Sometimes the, the how is the most important. How are they going to share this? Alright, so what are the options? What are what's pretty typical on this? If you tell them to go and find this and come tomorrow with it, what's pretty typical? So a discussion at the beginning of class, you know. So. You know, we might get real inventive and toss the volleyball around or, you know, and whoever catches it, that person has to share theirs and then we think that that's good. And that's better than just round robin, right? you know, because it gets them thinking. But what's something, thinking about the stuff that we've done, so far here. Make them do a video and post it the night before. All right, so they could do some kind of video. Um, would that take away from what she's trying to do? So all she's trying to do with this is just a real little intro, right? So that's going to be pretty big. Yeah. So I would say let's keep it, keep it small. What could they do that would take it just a little bit further like but still accomplish the same thing? Yeah, class website or something. 